in this video we will learn how we can easily slice an array in numpy with that we will also see some examples so array slicing basically means to slice an array in a range from start to end okay here we have so here we have shown let's say you want elements from index 1 to 3 for that you need to mention the range that is 1 colon 3 that's it the syntax is here that means from start to end that is the start index in the range is the first one and the end is the last one but you need to remember the end index is excluded okay it includes the start index but excludes the end index okay so this is how you can work around slicing in numpy arrays so we will see the following four examples to understand the slicing concept okay in which we will see how to slice index between a range with that we will also see how to slice from one index till the end of the array and also from beginning to any middle index okay so we will see all these concepts to understand the slicing in numpy so we have created this project in pycharm numpy array slice so right click click new and click python file to create a new python file let me name it it's a demo press enter and it will automatically add the py extension because because python file is by default selected so i pressed enter and here is our first file demo1.py so at first we will see how we can slice from index 1 to 3 3 is excluded for that import numpy we also created an alias np now create a new array object we have created n so here n n is equal to numpy that is np dot array and within that add uh, array elements so let's say we added 10 array elements now let us slice and print it so within the print method i'll type the array name and now i'll set the range so this will print from 1 to 3 but it will exclude the third index that's it go to file save all right click run demo 1 here it is it printed 25 that is it was from 1 to 3 that is 25 30 35 but excluding 3 so that means only 25 and 30 okay so now let us see the second example in this we will slice from 2 to 5 excluding 5 that's it you can import numpy okay i'll just uh, i'll just copy this that's it because we are taking the similar example to understand before that we went from 1 to 3 now i'll go for 2 to 5 it will exclude the fifth element 0 1 2 from 2 to 5 3 4 5 this will get selected but since the last index is excluded only 30 35 40 will be the result right click run here it is 30 35 40 is the result okay guys now let us go to the third example demo 3 in this we will slice from index 5 to last okay for that numpy now let us take the code from here so that we can relate here is our array with 10 elements now what we need to do from index 5th to last now we will use the colon 5th 5 colon so this will print from 5 to last on its own right click run demo 3 here it is from 5 to last 0 1 2 3 4 5 from 5 to last and the last will also get get included because we have used colon not the end range 
So this is how we can print from index 5 to last. Now let us see the next example, right click Python file demo 4. Here it is, we will slice from beginning to index 5. Now import numpy as np to import the numpy library. Now we have our new array using the array method with 10 elements. Okay, now what we will do, we will just remove the column, colon and add it here because we want from beginning to fifth. This will exclude the fifth index. Let's see, right click, run demo 4. And here you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We wanted to select from the start to fifth but excluding fifth. So when you will add the colon before, it will exclude the the index you are mentioning. So in this way guys, we can easily slice arrays in NumPy. So we saw the following examples, following four examples to slice an array. Now let us see how we can slice a one dimensional array with step. So you can also mention step with the slicing concept, slice step means to jump elements. If you will mention the step as 2, it will jump 2 values. And here is the syntax. We were having start and end for the syntax. Now we have the step also. Now let us see an example. Now we will slice 1D array with step in numpy. Import numpy as np. Let us add the elements using the array method. So we added 12 elements let's say. Now I will slice this 1D array with step 1 colon 10 colon 2 this is what we added. So the 2 here is the step and this is the start and end range 1 colon 10 means from first index from the following till the 10th index okay and within that it will jump to because we mentioned step as 2 run demo 5 here it is it will begin from the first and it will jump from 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and 40 to 50. This is what we wanted to show the role of step. So guys now we will see how we can slice 2D dimensional arrays. We will see two examples. We will slice from index 2 to 5 and, and exclude the fifth index and we will also slice for both the dimensions because we are having two dimensional arrays here. Let's see the example. Now we will slice a 2D array from index 2 to 5 and it will exclude the 5th index. Import numpy. Now create a 2 dimensional array using the numpy.array that is np.array. Okay, here it is. We have created a two dimensional array. Now I'll use the print method and within that I'll slice the above 2D array from index 2 to 5. 0, col comma 2, colon 5. So what I did here? 0 here means uh, the first the first one in a 2D array. If I would have added 1, it would have selected the following. Simple. Now from the first one select 2 to 5 and exclude 5. That means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This, this should be selected but it will exclude the fifth value. Therefore only 50, 70, 90 will get printed. Save all, right click, 
run demo 6 here it is it printed only 50790 now let us see another example right click new python file now we will slice for both the dimensions let's see import numpy as a np create an array n is equal to numpy that is np dot array within that mention your 2d array here it is now print we will print from 2 to 5 excluding 5 right click run so here you can see 0 1 2 3 4 5 exclude 5 and add 50 70 90 here and the same goes for the following 12 14 16 here so in this way guys we can easily slice both the dimensions so guys in this video we saw how we can easily work around array slicing Thank you for watching the video.